Hello everyone, my name is Butter Tongsley, fresh from the fridge, and welcome back to another episode of Disgaea 5. Where we left off, we have been making major progress that we've even gotten those of the dragon on netherworld to accept us as allies. So, what does this mean for us? We're going to find out, because now there's another mission for us to do to complete it. Ooh. Excuse me. Had a little indigestion there. So we're going to go straight into this, and we're going to see what's in store for us in Dragon Fang. Prison of Sacrifice. Enter the stage. You're finally here, warriors of the Rebel Eye. I knew you would come. Uh oh. from eating before every battle I find it very distracting this time he's not even eating noodles or like curry he's eating a whole is that a ham leg if that's a leg that thing had muscles look at that outlining <laughs> Lord Plotus, there was no need for a demon general to bother with this rebel army please let us handle you can't even see how much strength they possess. You better stay back. They unleashed his aura, blowing away all the lost soldiers as if they were pieces of garbage. Now, no one can interrupt us. Let's start where we left off. So already. Now, like Sorokin said, what should we do? No, I'm not scared like the rest of you. Says the guy who was the first to respond. I'm thinking about how I can save that person. That person? Who are you talking about? Aren't you going to assume your stance? I don't need to assume my stance to face you guys. You think you can beat all of us by yourself? You underestimate us. I'm only dealing with novices. I only need one thing. <laughs> Kill you, wasn't it? Show me your true power. Or else, you'll die. The last time we saw this guy... He almost killed Kilia because Kilia had to force himself to unleash his power. Oh boy. I feel like this guy's gonna be our pain. He's vulnerable to fists and monster weapons. Oh boy. Okay. Big guys up front. Yes. Spread them out. I'm strong. Sure you are. Actually, I'm going to have you go up first. Yeah. Seeing as you have a fist weapon and you can reach him. This is a very small place. Dispatch, flip. I'm guessing we're not gonna have like much like things to do here. here I come. 
Just gotta make sure to keep these at range. And wait until he gets in range. Alright, and now let me just rotate them so I don't have to worry about them being attacked without able to defend themselves. Wait, what what does he have? Does he have anything? Let's see. Fighting Aura, the movement of enemy units within three panels become one. Oh, that's a little unfair. Dr Dark Rosario. His fist taints the very ground. That doesn't look fun. And he has fists, swords, spears, arrows, guns, and axe. Abilities. He has every weapon ability except staves. And yet, uh, he's an overlord. A demon general serving under Demon Emperor Void Dark. His combat skills put him at the top of the lost. Increased stats by a hundred percent for two turns. Oh no. Ten turn then and let's see what happens. Already we did a good chunk of damage. That was a good start. Ow. Is he l using like... Alright, that... Mm, he did critical damage, but he used a weapon that we're strong against. It would have done a lot worse if he hit us with something that we're not. Uh... Everyone just boost. I'm happy, Flip. You okay? I'm happy, Flip. <laughs> mm, this is with these hands. Alright. All right. Put on his defense. Everyone pummel him. There you go, that was a good hit. Right there. Yeah! Huh. That's right! And now, Cronin's new move! Don't know what we're hit with. Whoa! Okay, that put down our stats quite a lot. I'm guessing that's like some sort of enfeebling ability. Here we go! Keep your defense down. Uh, he didn't poof. Go, 
Man, I guess we win. We need to see what happens. Hmm. One finger was Bull crap. We used our tiger palm technique right there. As I suspected, his ribs are his weak point. Kilia, we can do this. <clears throat> his ribs are his weak point. Why is his ribs specifically his weak point? In that type of armor, you would think that that armor protects him. Warriors of the rebel army, you'll pay for this. Follow him. What's up, Kilia? Why'd you stop us? <laughs> the only thing you guys have going for you is the luck to hit his weak spot. Zerokin, what are you talking about? Demon General Bloodus has an old scar over his ribs. That is his only weak spot. An old scar over his ribs. If you knew his weak spot, why didn't you tell us, Flint? If you all focused straight for his weak spot, then what would have happened? He'd know you knew. Zero? Are you some kind of genius? You're just a super idiot. Don't interrupt us. Because of that scar. That old scar is the reason Goldion lost to Void Dark. What? Goldion? What are you talking about? General Bloodus's true identity is the great demon fist, Goldion. According to historians, hundreds of brave overlords stood up to fight the forces of Demon Emperor Void Dark. However, the majority of them were not even able to leave a scratch on the Demon Emperor's body and simply turned into space dust. That led to pressure being put on Butal Beast. Unfortunately, there aren't many records on the rebel army during this time. Why is he working though with them? Oh, the news! Hate Programming, Episode 7. 
I don't think it's that easy. But now we've learned Bloodus is Goldion. But why is he working with Void Dark? One night has passed since the fierce battle. I have to tell you guys something. I. I used to be the great demon fist, Goldion's apprentice. What? Same skill as Zerokin. But Sir Kilia, in that case, you should have told us. As far as I was concerned, the less I had to talk about it, the better. Back then, I was a hopeless man. I was born and raised in the one netherworld where the scum of all demon kind eventually ends up. Cryo blood. It's a bloodbath of a world where you had to fight just to survive. Every day was a cycle of fighting and betrayal. When I finally stood atop that netherworld, I had become the Overlord. That was when I met Goldion. Speaking of cryoblood, it was ruled by the infamous tyrant Overlord Kilidia. Sir Kilia, are you? Kilidia? That sounds like a woman's name. My God, wow. You weren't just an ordinary demon after all. Kilia has enormous magic potential, so I can believe it. But I can't believe that the Kilia who saved me and the tyrant overlord Kalidia are one in the same blip. I used to be a bloodthirsty savage. Then Goldion appeared before me and handed me my first taste of defeat. He saw right through me and could tell that I could control my powers. That's when he told me to become his apprentice. I wasn't interested in controlling my powers, and I didn't want to be his apprentice, but I wanted to defeat him, so I played along. I mean no disrespect, but Goldion must be pretty unique to take Kilia in as his apprentice. Or was he just a meddler? Is Goldion responsible for Kilia's undemonic personality? He was a pretty meddlesome guy, but he taught me the ultimate demon technique so that I could control my powers. Wasn't it just because you had great potential, Flip? Maybe, but this is now the third time I've betrayed him. Betrayed him? Your third betrayal? What do you mean? I mean, that doesn't make sense, like... He's right now being bloodless and he's helping Void Dark kill off like Netherworlds and take them over. How is that betraying him? If anything, you're going he betrayed you. Zoroke, you said that his old scar was the reason Goldion lost to Void Dark, right? Yeah. Well, I was the one who gave him that scar. I was able to master his skills, one after another, except for one. What was I missing? To teach me, Goldion took the skill I unleashed full on, without any protection. 
Because of that, he was greatly injured. I still couldn't figure out what I was missing, so I ran away. That was my first betrayal. And if Goldion lost to Void Dark and became Demon General Bloodus, then... That was my third betrayal. You... From what you've said, Goldion doesn't seem like someone who would just obey Void Dark. He must have been brainwashed. His first betrayal was that... And his third betrayal was... Him losing... Oh, his second betrayal was him losing to Void Dark because of the Scar. And his third betrayal... Was him... Becoming bloodus or something. I owe Goldion a lot. I... I understand your situation now. In that case, I'll help you out too, bro. When did you and I become brothers? You're Goldion, I mean, Master's Apprentice, which makes us fellow apprentices. I didn't think he had any other apprentices besides me. I'm sorry for calling you a thief, bro. You called him a thief countless times, but you're really flexible with your opinions. I'm beyond amazed and have landed on admiration. Let's forget about our past misdeeds and focus on saving Master. Right, bro? The frivolous overlord Zerokin forced his way into becoming an official ally. <laughs> Episode 7 Past Struggles, Part 1. Ooh, Part 1. <clears throat> Wait, does that mean I'm actually getting close to finishing? Rita, we received a report. It seems Demon General Bloodus has been injured battling the Rebel Army. What? The Rebel Army injured Bloodus? Yes. As unbelievable as it seems, it's true. <laughs> How interesting. Having trouble taking care of those guys is one strike against you, Bloodus. So, any updates on the Rebel Army's movement? Yes. I haven't made any major moves, but at this rate, they're going to attack Demon General Bloodus' main base. Probably. From their point of view, this is a great opportunity to defeat the Demon General. They wouldn't let it go to waste. We have already prepared reinforcements. We only await your orders, Lady Majorita. Reinforcements? Though it may not be ideal, don't you think it's rude to send a Demon General reinforcements? Besides, if he gets defeated by a rebel army, then he doesn't deserve to be one of Lord Boy Dark's demon generals. Call him off. But we can't abandon an ally. Who gave you permission to talk back? Kilio, the Netherworld edit shop is completed, dude. We worked really hard for this. Nether editor? Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you, everyone. I'm informing you because Netherworld editing is now possible. Everyone, please come visit us. Research support unit unlocked in squad formation. A new netherworld was discovered. Poison dice. Well, before we talk to everyone, let's heal everyone. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot. Whenever we're in a new episode, they auto heal. Alright. Let's see what they got to say. 
I'm counting on you, bro. At this rate, I won't be able to keep my composure. I told you that ne never bothered me. You, can you stop getting unnecessarily close to Sir Kilia? Cut it out, kid. You're making Sarah super jealous. You okay? Magnus? Hello? Uh. Eh, he's asleep. Silence, musclehead. So, are you still trying to accuse Sir Kilia? Of course not. I just wanted to apologize to Bro for being a, so rude to him this whole time. I told you, I don't need any apologies. Then one hit. Please hit me once. That'll flush everything down the drain. How's that? I don't have any interest in raising my fist against anyone who isn't resisting. No, no, no. You have to hit me. <clears throat> Why do you want to get hit so much? Are you th uh, that into that kind of thing? <laughs> Come on, my solar plexus is right here. Hit me with everything you've got. Oh no, that is sounding horribly wrong. Her bringing that up and him saying that now I have a horrible image in my head. Oh, please stop. All right, Red, Med Red Magnus super understands. He'll hit you instead. Huh? Wow! <laughs> he went flying across the screen! Hey, Zero, can are you alright? Goodbye, Zero! Red Magnus will super never forget you! No, no. Don't kill me off. Okay. Well, I'm gonna check and see about, like, some gear that I can quickly get for everyone, and I'll be right back. Alright, so I got, mm, really only one weapon I could give to someone, that was for Magnus, so he has a new axe now. And I'm gonna see about this. I wanna see what this nether editor is. Welcome to the Netherworld Edit Shop. You can customize the interior and exterior of the pocket netherworld. Your imagination is very important. Please enjoy building the netherworld. Really? Was was this doing? Uh, open the menu in order to place. Oh. Okay. So what do I get here? Blood punch cactus. Go. A red beach ball. Well, different types of beach balls. A snowman! Table. Oh. Lost Army barrel, Lost Army box. I like the Lost Army symbol. That actually is really cool. Sci fi box. Wooden box. Container. A carrot. <laughs> A bomb. Iron box. Huh. This is actually really cool looking. I would love to... I would love to, like, give this... a try sometime. And terrain patterns. Ooh.
I like this. Ah! I can make it look like an RPG thing. Okay. I like that. That looks really cool. Where would you like to go, dude? All right, let's continue the story. sooner or later it has always been like that right hurry up and unleash me then I can clean everything up for you <laughs> so that dark version of him is pretty much him how he used to be before Goldian like pretty much freed him well that and also her, like, apparently he was being taught by him, and then he met up with some woman who keeps flashing back in and out. Okay. San Kano, another world covered in magma and deserts. The lost came for the magma energy. Magma energy? I mean, I've seen shows and all that do actually, uh... They actually, like, did, like, a thing in their little cartoon shows or animes where people used literally lava as an energy source, because it is heat. Heat is energy. So, I could see that. So let's take a look at this place to see what it looks like. Infernecro. Hmm. Cool name. Demon General Bloodus. Of course they're giving us the VIP treatment. 
himself isn't here, so that must mean he hasn't fully recovered yet. This is our chance. Yeah, let's do this. Wait, this very background is the same thing that was behind Majorito, so that means she's already here. That's not good. Netherworld effect, Sandstorm is active, so our accuracy is decreased by 20% that I read. That's probably going to be a pain in the butt. What the hell is in there? Is this an endless... Quicksand, and then we got lava all over the place. And metal. Oh, oh, maybe we can fall off. I'd rather not find out. Surprise, though. <laughs> uh, I like that purple flame effect. I'm guessing that's the energy they're getting from this place. So they're pretty much treating this planet like a giant oil refinery. Although, I don't know why there's random girders in the sand. And I'm guessing that's their alarm system. Alright! Let's deal with you three first. Ooh, you're gonna be a little annoying. Alright, first I'm gonna execute this and give you guys a pummeling of a lifetime. Break your armor. Give Magnus attack up okay. and shield, and now kiss squish. One dead. And now we finish you two. Let's go. <clears throat> there we go. Ah, oh, missed. Targeting him, it was an 80% chance. He had 20% luck. I was hitting you with it. Wow, Enfeeble does like a cold effect? What? Miss again? You missed us! Missed again! What's my name? The crap. You missed one! What's my name? That hurt! Yeah. Execute! Ooh. Triple squish! Uh. Triple squish! And one dead! Hey! Jack's Champ of Fighters has been mastered! Viper Fighter has been obtained! Break your armor! With his hands. Make you into a weak, baby! And now, pummel him with Rice Hammer! Nice! I needed to give her that level up. Especially now we're starting to fight enemies that are level 30s. Everyone else is able to handle their own, but she needed that level up. A faraway shot. Missed me! Serafina got hurt pretty badly. Oh. Crystal, she needs a band aid. Oh, wait. Oh, I almost. Hit you with enfeeble.
Hero out! Execute! And I was smart with this one. I'm gonna punch her behind me. She's gonna land behind me, but I'm facing that way. Oh, she doesn't even get to attack. Okay. Oh, time to kill you. Boulder crush. Squish. Here comes cowboys. Give Jack some boosters cause he's gonna be the first one in there. Followed by Kilia. Followed by me. Let's keep him where he belongs. Right Jax? With karmic punishment! And also lift up kill ya. And throw him over there! So that he... Can do some exploding tigers! And Zero can go over that way. Cronin. Follow up by the rear. This'll hurt you more than it hurts me. Because I'll be hitting you. Twice as hard. I hit one, I missed the other. That's fine. That one I didn't miss. That hurt. Ow! Mini! Punch! Ow! Punch him again! Yeah! Oh no. Haha, you missed. That was actually kind of cool. Oh wow, Zero Kid, you're getting mini jelly targeted. Oh, I'm sorry. Luckily, Killia didn't die because he was actually pretty hurt right there. Okay. Jax, I need you to get behind them. But first, I need you to bring one of them to where you stand. So I need you to go down here. Oh. One more. Thank you, Jax. And now, bring him down! First, I do this because we need to heal. That was epic. Darn it, we missed. I'll support you. How about it? Thank you. Those guys are gonna be kind of hard to hit. Let's go. Will this end them? Up. Oh. Hmm. It got one. So there's one person left. Who deserves this kill? Why, Serafina, of course, and she's gonna do it point blank! After he gets armor debuffed.
And now, point blank. <clears throat> bye bye. Or somehow not. Homing eraser learned. One HP. Are you serious? He has one HP left. You know what? Fine. I'll. I'll take him out. More hell. Hey, Kilia. How does one become the strongest overlord? Why are you asking me? Because you used to be the strongest overlord. That was just what people said. There were plenty of overlords who were stronger than me. And there is nothing to gain by becoming the strongest. You're wrong. Power is everything in the netherworld. Might makes right. Doesn't becoming the strongest overlord mean you get everything you ever wanted? You're exactly like the old me, which is why I can't let you stay like this. Your old you was just like Red Magnus? What does that even mean? I'm only telling this story for your benefit. I was born and raised in the slums of Cryo Blood. I didn't have any parents to rely on. I did whatever it took to survive. It was common for the weak to die. Power was everything in the world I lived in. And I, too, once thought that if I became the strongest overlord, I could get everything I ever wanted. But even after I became the top dog, I was always surrounded by enemies. Every day was a violent hell of washing blood with blood. The only thing I found waiting for me was a devastating loneliness. I was only able to escape that eternal loneliness by finding a family. A family? Yeah, we weren't related by blood, but she was the only family I had. You had Ilya. Is the reason you hate Boy Dark? You better watch out. At the rate you're going, you're on track for living in the same kind of pit that I did. Well, definitely got some th things ahead of us. And we got some more people to talk. Alright, let's hear it. <clears throat> hey, bro, what kind of a relationship do you have with Seraphinus? Mm, sis. Seraphina, sis. Why not just say sis? Why did the developers make him say Seraphina, sis? <clears throat> that question again. It's nothing special, we're just members of the same rebel army. You don't have to be embarrassed, Sir Kilia has the hearts for my beauty. Only in your dreams. You always say such cold things, but then why do you always come to my rescue when I'm in danger? I can't turn my back on someone who's suffering because of the lost. Oh, ho, 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 ho. stop blushing, Sir Kilia. Very well. Let's just leave it at that. What's wrong, Zerokin? 
Hmm. You two look awfully lovey-dovey to me. Why is this happening? <laughs> Let's fix you up. Oh boy. I feel bad for Kelia. Well, other than that, I am actually all out of time for this episode. That took pretty much an hour and a half for me to well, do this, but I like doing this recording for everyone's enjoyment. They want two stages, I'm giving them two stages. Even though some of this extended time was because of those uh, cutscenes that started up the next chapter. But hey, that's fine. So, with that being said, thank you all so much for watching. Please leave a like, comment, tell me what you think of the video. I like to know what people have to say about the videos and of how well the videos are going. Let me know if you guys still think there's anything I should do differently. And as always, I should see you guys in the next video. I should, because I expect to see everyone enjoying it as much as I am. Take care, everyone. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. It's delicious.